fall off. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you lead. So, uh, we are about to get into, uh, and don't shoot the messenger, child, because I didn't title the video, but it's Tay and Lou's Toxic Moments Over the Years, Part 1. Uh, we about to get into this video. Uh, shout out to Just Tony. They created the video. I'm just here to talk about it. You know, that's it. Let's not take things too personal. I'm going to talk about one side of the fence, then the other side of the fence. And I'm going to talk about my own stuff, too. You know what I'm saying? It's my type of content. You feel me? So that's what we're going to do. Uh, for those that are new, please make sure y'all tap into my website, uh, crowncreatorsacademy.com. Please, if you want to learn how to do YouTube, you dig. I am the one to teach ya. Let's get it. Not that serious. Hold on, let me change this stuff. All right. You have more to you. Already. It's not important to you. You have everything that you have going on. You have the channels popping. You have your creativity as well. Your creativity is important to you. Our children is important to me. What is one thing you wish you could change about me? One thing I wish I could change about you. Yeah. I think sometimes you have more of a glass half empty than a glass half full of look at certain things and I wish you knew how great you were and how automatic your success would be and don't even fool around with the thought of failure. So I wish I could change that about you. That was a good fucking comment. Can I have some more? Can you pull me some more to check? Right. She said she like alcohol, y'all. Sometimes we get shit. to the point of a relationship where it seems like we can only offer each other arguments and peace is no longer found in your partner's eyes. It's at this time when you start to wonder, do we still belong together? Mm -mm. Should we break up? I ain't gonna lie, like from their comments, I mean from their content, all they spoke about was breaking up. Y'all, I don't even know how nobody even said like, React to them real fast because I would have been seeing all of this. Like, I'm talking would have been seeing this shit. <laughs> but I'm I'm really glad that they like chose themselves. Truthfully, they loved each other more than they loved themselves. For real. Is this it? Familiarity. That's always the weirdest. That's a hard word to say. Familiarity. We know. You know what I mean. You know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> you so rough. I was why I like it. I mean, you know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> you so rough. I was why I like it. You get some wine after. <laughs> she not with me just because of because of my my good looks and charm. The, the permission to get a drink is was a real thing. Actually, it's because of my good looks. It's, it's not because of my... You know, I'm going to play devil's advocate, right? Because I, I still feel as though you should be able to get your own drink when the fuck you want to get your own drink, but I digress. However, comma, if you do have a partner that kind of like... When they drink, they get a little like crazy or upset or whatever the case may be, I would probably... um suggest not to drink so much but then at some point i wouldn't be able to deal with it either like it, not if you you know you getting drunk and you being abusive but i feel like she was being drunk and being abusive well no i feel like she was abusive because of you know take out a smart mouth ultimately but they both they both were affecting each other because y'all act like y'all don't hear me when i say both But anyway. Mm -hmm. And she got smart, y'all. That's what I think. I can't wait for you guys to hear the how we met story. So you can see how Lou tried to bag me, but I ended up bagging her on the low low. Are you kidding me? You don't think you tried to bag me and I didn't bag you on the low low? No, I, I think all of this has happened because of me and only me. Where the problem go? Have you ever threatened 
to do something bad to your ex. I'm not gonna lie. Some people also, some people need alcohol to function. It's unfortunate. But she says she like to drink. Shit, it is what it is. But I do see where t I do see where Tay is talking about with her drinking a lot of alcohol. I see that. I see where Tay is coming from on that. Anytime I say something, it's like you don't even you just taking that for Lou. They decided to break up with you. No. No. And when I was younger and drunk in stupors, I will threaten violence, but I'm a violent person. In drunken stupors, I will threaten violence, but I'm a violent person. Girl, she knew she was violent. I mean, like, I don't, you know what, you know what's behooving me to the people that's been watching them? Like, they already made it clear of who they were. I don't think they hid that, ever. So why the hell is everybody surprised? I don't understand this. This is new to me. But everybody's surprised. I don't understand. They've been talking about slid it. into Tay's DMs and initially Tay. And shout out to accountability. That's a fact. It was inviting. Um, what, I, if I remember correctly, I think she said, "Are you a model or something?" And if you know me personally, you know those are the wrong words to say to me. Like, don't call me a model. Don't ask me if I model. Don't say I should consider modeling. I just hated it. So that turned me off initially. I had these long, beautiful dreads in my hair. They were, they were installed perfectly. Um, I had them in my hair. I wanted it for the longest time. But guys, it's so everybody weird. Everybody had to forget. Tell me what I'm trying to say. What's so weird I'm about it is I thought forgot. I was too... To, she thought she was too ethnic. I thought I was That's too ethnic for her. Like, seeing her on Instagram, because I'm only saying this because she just said someone looked like me. She wouldn't assume I'm gay or something like that. But no, I assumed I was too ethnic for her. I mm -hmm. went home, took out my dreads, and I went back to my n normal curly hair. Even though I'm still ethnic, I felt like if I had dreads and I'm already... So, it was just going to be too much, but no. It's the same exact thing. I said I put ice in line because this woman doesn't believe in ice. I do. But that's another story. I'm just lazy. I never follow through. <laughs> just know that y'all can never tell me when to propose because that comes from me. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what the hell too ethnic mean. And I would have never tried to get them to propose each other when they broke up every other day. Like, y'all, you know, like, I'm the friend to be like, friend, I'm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Y'all, y'all gonna have to call this a quits. <laughs> they be like, what the fuck you mean? Y'all are killing each other. <laughs> what do you mean what I mean? Y'all are killing each other. No, it was on some, like, to death do us part for real with them. <laughs> like, for real. But there's nothing stopping me from proposing. It's just when I feel like doing it. Okay, so don't ask no more. And I told Nah, don't ask no more because I'm gonna do it. The point is I'm here. Honey, she ain't going nowhere. It's we're here to stay. She's not going nowhere. Okay, and honestly, okay. you guys, marriage means a lot to her because she she um you know she she likes those traditional everybody values. Everybody need a neek, but everybody don't know how to keep a neek. Cause I will really tell you. Cause you can tell me, like tell me. If I'm tripping or whatever. All of y'all know, I'm not a traditional thing. bitch. First of all, actually, let me go ahead and brace myself again. And one thing about Lou that I do love, y'all, she keep it real. And that's probably why I recognize with her so much. She keep it real. I love a bitch that keep it real, okay? <laughs> Hell, got time for all that cat. I'm not a traditional bitch. First of all, actually, let me go ahead and brace myself again. <laughs> y'all... Lou been drinking. <laughs> Why are we surprised by the drink? I, I'm confused. I think like, you know how they be like, uh, when people show you who they are, believe them. Like she been, been showing everybody. I, I, I'm, I don't understand. There we go. You excited? I'm very excited. I want to see what you got me. I'm nervous, you guys. I get nervous when she opens up stuff that I give her. Before I start this video off, I want to say thank you to everybody that has shown us support time and time again. We love you guys. But I also have a quick message for the rest of you. A lot of people don't understand that we are content creators on YouTube. We're not just coming on YouTube to just broadcast our relationship. We want to do it with purpose. Well, what did she feel I could do better to be a better partner to her? So what can I do? Be honest. I am. 
Let Kayleen to do to be a better partner to me. To, to give my kind of coldness or blank. I me, mean, damn, was y'all in the kitchen? <laughs> Why can I hear the sauteing going on? No, I'm sorry, I gotta skip that part. Oh, okay, I couldn't do that one. The baby is taking us to the bar. Woo! She's buying us 7,000 7, 7, rounds. <laughs> it's like, y'all, I ain't trying to die. And I ain't gotta go to work tomorrow. Yep, and she has to go to work. Here, no, I'm not done. I'm, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna Come save that. Baby. Oh, no. For tomorrow when you're gone, gone, gone. She works so she's gonna have king crab, pepper steak, and lamb, and rice. Tomorrow. But I won't have one thing. Guess what? Guess Me. what the like it could be as small literally Very as a piece small. of paper yeah if it could be like a, a petal on a piece of flower if i gave it to her if she gave it to me i'm not allowed to destroy it if i'm upset mm -hmm. what stuff is that? it's like i was just joking i don't be doing that but no i'm not <laughs> but, uh, yeah we were in like a good spirit yo just be destroying everything and everything and i joked about something and like she literally just because uh, she knows like when she jokes she she should be an actress y'all because literally when she says something you can't i was like are you serious because I'll be fine. So I tell him I joked that I broke her necklaces. Yeah, she joked that she broke my necklaces that she just got me for my birthday, and I was so. And it was because she joked and said it after we had a little spout. That's well, yeah. That's that's the whole point. I don't want y'all to think I'm just immature. Just yeah. No, we had a house. spout. We had a disagreement, and then I like like you know you had a little disagreement. Fine, you can take that or whatever. Fine, so, give me back. Mm -hmm. So then Patty, yeah, me for her necklaces. I'm like, can I have my necklaces? She a hundred by she, everything. That's why I fuck. She with. gave them to me, by the way. I didn't take them. You asked me to give them to you. You gave them to me whatever anyway so she takes she looks at me with the most serious face oh my gosh i can't stand you i said she was like i told not why no you said you broke them no oh, yeah yeah so you're like you was like i have to get you some more because i broke that's them. what i did that's how i was messed up because i i deliberately made up so i'm like yo i gotta get you so you could tell tay was lit as hell in this video too but she just know how to handle that lick a little more i guess more i mean they wasn't i mean I, if we can replace them. yeah it sounded like what she would say if she really did that crap it and did. i was like i was like you you oh she didn't like her drinking She hated her drinking. I mean, it is what it I is. I was like, you, you, you drinking, right? All I'm right? going to say, because we can't say nothing else, is that you know what was said to me, and there's no host bar. I think it's because she knew, like, I, I can't blame her for feeling like, damn, she drunk. She about to turn up, you know. But it's like, what y'all don't understand where I'm coming from is she chose to continue to deal with that shit. This whole video, this woman has told us she was she is abusive. <laughs> she said that she likes to get drunk. I mean, that is a thing, okay? And that, you know, she just, she's just her. And Tay stayed. And y'all don't like when I say she dealt with that shit. <laughs> Y'all hate when I say that, but it's the truth. That's what she chose to deal with. She loved that shit for real. What the goddamn hell? I'm gonna say that. I am really enjoying life right now. In the past, because we've been on YouTube since January 2017. We actually, okay, let's put it like this. We didn't really start to get consistent on YouTube until maybe like five months ago. We maybe did one to two videos per month before that. So, with that being said, in the months when we were first starting, probably for like the whole first year, you guys don't understand how many changes and living environments I've had to go through, and by default, Lou had to go through. We were in one, this is our fourth apartment, or fourth living space, because some of them we're, we're in apartments, but apartments nonetheless. This is our fourth thing that we're renting, but I like that, in since January 2017. Then I found myself in a toxic relationship, wasn't really happy then. Then found myself in another toxic relationship after another toxic relationship, wasn't happy then. Then I meet Lou. It was in another um, toxic relationship. I find extreme happiness. But then we go down through a very rough patch. 
and I'm not happy anymore again. But our rough patches. So if I say that she had been in other toxic relationships before she even got to Lou, y'all still going to say I'm being biased. So you know what I'm not going to do? I ain't going to say shit about what she just said. For the first time, not because I'm not happy with the person, I'm just not happy with everything else around me, which is causing me to fight with the person. Which is Lou. We would argue a lot at that time during our rough patch. I didn't know how I was going to make it, but I knew that I had to get out of there, and I knew I, me, me and Lou had to get out of our last living arrangement. When I tell the truth about Lou, y'all be like, hell yeah, Lou was that. But when I say something about Tay, oh my God. I am, this bitch just shook the table, okay? In order to, one, be okay with each other, because when you're not happy with your they living arrangement, we work. will start arguing. Before I even get to the story, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. <laughs> so I met her off Instagram, whatever, whatever. I got her to come into the state, DC. I mean, from DC. She came to New York. Like a lot of lesbian women, when we first met, we you hauled immediately. Uh, me, D, it, Lee. You heard me? That's what we do. Very passionate in our first few months. When I first met Lou, she was in something called a model house, right? But basically, a lot of New York City, you know, inspiring models, they come to New York City, they don't have housing, right? So in exchange for housing, they go to club events and they're called atmosphere models. She would have to go to these clubs like three, four, five nights a week. Nick, don't say it. And just be there and be pretty with her tall friends. I, myself, was not about to have my newfound girlfriend, my new wife, going to these model houses, I mean, to these clubs by herself just to pay for housing, especially by, by that time, she was always in my apartment with me. She didn't even go, she didn't even stay in the model house, but she still had to go to the club venues because she said she didn't tell her to quit. Y'all gonna be mad. She said she didn't tell her to quit. Especially by, by that time, she was always in my apartment with me. She didn't even have a newfound girlfriend, my new wife, going to these model houses, I mean, to these clubs by herself just to pay for housing. Especially by, by that time, she was always in my apartment with me. She didn't even go, she didn't even stay in the model house, but she still had to go to the club venues because just in case, you know, it didn't work out with me, you know, she still had to keep her housing. But... I was not about to have my girl going to these club venues by herself, so guess what I did? Guess what I did? She went with I started going with her. You know your girl put on heels. She pushed her hair back. I was a blonde back then. And after a while, I was like, yo, I can't do this no more. The girl, she's mine. It's already settled. She don't have to be going to these things. So slowly but surely, Lou started being sick every now and again. <laughs> can't come. Oh, so long story short. Lou started being absent so much because I was giving her that good, 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 good. She ended up getting fired from her job. She they was fucking for a long time, yeah. She couldn't come no more. And she got fired from her job. She had to come get her shit, pick, pick up her stuff. You was no longer part of this house. Go live with that girl that got you over there doing, you know, domestic things. She was a domesticated woman by that point, and that's all it is. So I don't have anything to say because if I say it, I'm completely on Lou's side when I spoke about both of them the entire video. But anyhow, I digress. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below because I know you will. All right. Good or bad. Say that shit. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.